when you study the electromagnetic wave propagation you must have heard about the word plane of incidence you must have heard this word plane of incidence number of times many concepts related to your em wave reflection transmission these are related to this plane of incidence so in this video let us talk about this plane of incidence let's see what do we mean by plane of incidence visually in relation with our subject electromagnetics this plane of incidence concept is very much important and you most exactly know how to identify the plane of incidence because when we study the em wave propagation em wave reflection in oblique incidence that time we come across with the two cases perpendicular polarization and parallel polarization so perpendicular polarization and parallel polarization if e field vibrations are perpendicular to the plane of incidence that case is known as perpendicular polarization if e field vibrations are within the plane of incidence then that case is known as parallel polarization and for both the cases we have different formulae so you must be able to find out exactly what will be our plane of incidence so let's see that so let's consider that we have two media present side by side as you can see from the screen medium 1 and medium 2 you can clearly observe the separation between these two media the separation between these two media it is known as boundary surface the plane which is dividing this space into two media one side is medium 1 other side is medium 2 so as you can see from the screen this plane separating these two media it is known as boundary surface my dear this boundary surface can be the irregular surface also but for theoretical purpose we generally take it as a simple plane so let's consider we have two media medium 1 on one side and medium 2 on the other side and let's assume that our electromagnetic wave is traveling from medium 1 and incident on this boundary surface it is going to enter into the medium number 2 my dear you know that electromagnetic wave carries electromagnetic power along with it and the properties of electromagnetic wave the power of em wave also depends on the medium characteristics the intrinsic impedance of the medium so when medium changes because of the impedance mismatching some of the power get reflected back we call it as wave reflection and remaining power is transmitted into the other medium of course based on which type of medium it is and that uh, wave is known as transmitted wave yes or no so all these happens and we get reflected em wave as well as transmitted em wave and this complete process is known as wave reflection so first thing first let's assume that we have two media side by side separated by the plane separated by the boundary surface as you can see from the screen and now let me draw a line perpendicular to this boundary surface perpendicular to this plane of separation normal to this boundary surface this line is known as normal as you can see from the screen so let me draw this normal as you can see from the screen and my dear now let us assume that our wave is coming from medium 1 and hit the boundary surface trying to enter into the medium number 2 it is incident it is coming as you can see from the screen see electromagnetic wave can travel in any direction so it can hit the boundary surface at any angle making any angle with the normal am i right so let's assume that our electromagnetic wave is propagating like this and hit the boundary surface as you can see from the screen my dear you also know that electromagnetic wave is made up of e and h waves 
but we have not shown them over here we are showing only the direction of propagation it is general practice to show the direction of propagation as a wave yes or no so let's say that our incident wave is traveling like this this is our incident wave and it is hitting on the plane between two media it is hitting on the boundary surface as you can see from the screen so my dear considering this scenario now the imaginary plane containing the incident wave and normal to the boundary surface as you can see from the screen the plane containing the incident wave and normal to the boundary surface this plane is called as plane of incidence again i am repeating check out the screen carefully the plane containing the incident wave the direction of propagation of the incident wave the propagation vector of the incident wave and the normal to the boundary surface what is boundary surface the separation between two media so plane containing these two rays these two lines as you can see from the screen it is known as plane of incidence if your electromagnetic wave is hitting like this then your plane of incidence will be as like this if your electromagnetic wave is hitting like this then your plane of incidence will be as like this and it is more clear in the 3d view am i right so the plane containing the normal to the boundary surface and the incident wave is known as plane of incidence and as i stated before when this electromagnetic wave is incident on the boundary some of the power get reflected back known as reflected em wave some of the power get transmitted into other medium known as transmitted em wave and both of these waves reflected em wave and transmitted em wave they must lie on this plane of incidence why because as we have as we know in our electromagnetics when wave travels from one medium to other it has to satisfy the boundary conditions and because of those boundary conditions always remember that the reflected wave and transmitted wave they also lie on this plane of incidence so my dear you can also define plane of incidence as like this it is the imaginary plane containing normal to the boundary surface incident wave reflected wave and transmitted wave the plane of incident consists of four things normal to the boundary surface incident wave reflected wave wave means direction of propagation incident wave reflected wave and transmitted wave so this is the simple definition of your angle uh, plane of incidence and you know when you draw that 2d diagram on your paper so at that time your plane of paper you show the incident wave coming like this and reflected going like this so at that time that your plane of paper that is nothing but your plane of incidence so this is how you should remember about plane of incidence so next week let us come with another mind bending concept thank you